So what advice do you have for doctors, either you know, new residents or new graduates or attending physicians um, to really get control over their debts? I think there is, there is uh, a couple of really big things that you need to do. First of all, when you move to that new town, don't buy a house. Buying a house when you first move someplace is a bad idea. And the reason it's a bad idea is because 50% of the people, when they move to that new town, they're going to be moving in a few years. Mm -hmm. That means you're going to be turning around and selling that house again in just a few years. It costs a lot of money to make the transaction for a house. And it takes around five years to break even on the appreciation of the house covering all of those expenses. So if you move in less than five years, usually you lose money on the deal. Mm -hmm. So don't buy a house. And the, another reason to not do that is you'll live there for a couple of years. You'll decide, yes, this is where I want to stay. And now you know what part of town you want to live in, what school you want your kids in. And you're not in a hurry to buy a house. When you're trying to buy a house and you're moving there, you need that house before you arrive. You've got a deadline. So you can only buy what's in the inventory right now. So you live there a couple of years and say, okay, I'm going to stay here. Let's buy a house. And you, you look around and say, I want one in that neighborhood right over there, but there's nothing available right now. We'll just tell the realtor, hey, as soon as you see something in that neighborhood, you call me, we'll get it. And so now you're not under time pressure. You can end up buying the house you actually want in the neighborhood you want. And it's so much easier. And when you're done, you just hand your rental keys over and move into that house. So that's one big one. The, the other thing is when you start this new job with a big income, make a budget. Mm -hmm. And the budget should be that you're only going to spend a little bit more money than you were spending in residency for the first couple of years. So you get a full handle on what's going on with that new high income. You get the right things taken care of. You start saving for the down payment of your house. You start conquering your student debts. Those student debts shouldn't take but four years or five years to be paid off. Don't be saying, I'm gonna be paying my student loans for 20 years. No, get, get them paid off and get that off, off your shoulders. But make a plan for that. If you don't do that, what usually happens is you move into town, you buy a big house, then you need furniture for that house. Okay. Then you need a boat for the boat dock because you bought a house on the lake and you want new cars because these cars that you were driving as residents, these are not befitting of an attending surgeon. Or, you know, you got to have new cars. You got to have a really nice car for you, your spouse. You didn't want them to have to drive that old beater. And so pretty soon you find yourself in a lot of debt because you, you didn't have the cash to do any of those things. So you had to borrow the money. And all of that debt comes with it as uh, some penalties. Now you don't have money to go on the vacation you wanted to go on. Mm -hmm. And so, or, or cut back at work. Like if you're feeling burned out and you say, I need to take a little time off, then and you can't. Because if you do that, your income drops. So when you start this job, this is an incredible opportunity. It's like, it's like winning the lottery. Mm -hmm. You know, this is a chance to shape your life the way you want it to be. Be. Mm -hmm. Most doctors don't take that chance. They just start spending the money and then find themselves in trouble. That should never happen because if you start off and you ramp up your spending and you do it in a controlled manner, you will do very well financially and it will reflect in your practice. For us, by us, and just for us, this is hope for men, men.